Hello and welcome back to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is my channel Sobricks where I put together Lego sets, talk about Lego sets, review them, and I'll have some other Lego related content in the future. In this video we're going to look at the Lego Ambush on Ferrix, the Lego Star Wars, I believe it's from Andor the show. So this is the Lego Star Wars set 35338 Ambush on Ferrix. It has 679 pieces and it retails for $70. For a, uh, for a full disclaimer, I purchased this set uh, on sale and it was on sale for $50. Six dollars, and I'll sort of talk about uh, why I purchased it, when, um, how I think the the value, uh, where I think the value is in this set. If I think um, there's you know some some issue with the price or not, sort of a little bit later. But for now, we will take a look at this set. I will get the instruction booklet out of the way here. And the first thing we can take a look at is the minifigures. This set includes three minifigures. I believe I have not watched Andor, uh, the show, but I believe this is Cassian Andor. Let me double check. Uh, Cassian Andor, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a nice minifigure, a good print, has uh, printing on the torso and the legs. And it has a, a print in that, that midsection piece as well, uh, which is, is nice. Comes with an accessory there. Um, there is printing on the back, uh, which is pretty well done. And, you know, printing uh, two prints on the head. Then we also have Luther, Luthen rather, sorry, Luthen Rael. Uh, again, I, I don't know if I pronounce that right I don't watch the show but again on this minifigure um, printing on the legs and the torso and uh, in that midsection there is printing as well as some details on the back and we have another face on on the back side there and the last minifigure that is included in this set is Cyril Karn this one's a little simpler than the other two just printing on the torso not on the legs not on the midsection uh, this does have some printing on the back of the torso which is nice I like the accents that uh, come through on this on this print uh, and this only has the one print on the head because it would be visible under the cap there and then for this build like I said uh, 600 and 97 sorry 679 pieces and so you get these minifigures and you get two builds here you get the speed bike and or the, the speeder bike and you get uh, I, I don't know what this is called a tack pod or something the the main the main ship of the build um, and first we can take a look at the speed bike. You can place uh, minifigures on here. Uh, there is studs to have um, two figures on the speeder bike, which is nice for play. Uh, speeder bike is, is pretty simple, but pretty good detail. A lot of fine parts. I really like the use of the whip here, even though it was kind of hard for me to get it to curl around this bar element and st stick in the jumper plate uh, that's at the front there. So that was a little difficult, but other than that, some good angles, some nice color. Uh, I, I like this um, small, simple build. It does have these clips on the side, which can be used to store their accessories if you like, uh, which might provide for better play opportunities. And all in all, this is uh, it's 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 pretty nice. I think um, it's a little bit fragile. Uh, it doesn't stand up fully straight because uh, it just rests on this uh, um, thruster or whatever is underneath there. Uh, but it's um, 
it's good. It, like I say, it is a, a bit fragile. These move, these can fall off, uh, these bits on the front here. There is some good playability, but I would be delicate with it. Uh, and um, that's uh, that's it for, for this build. I think, you know, it's a nice inclusion. Uh, as far as display value goes, I'm not sure what it has for me unless I... Um, you know, have it alongside a bunch of other similar speeder bikes, maybe from sets in the past, uh, but or or just as part of this ambush on Ferrick set, it might be it, there might be a way to display it um, quite well. But then we can go on to the majority of what this set is, and that is this vehicle right here. When I saw this on the box, I was pretty interested in it because I really like sort of these faceted style angles here. I was wondering how this would be achieved uh, and uh, I just thought it was an interesting looking vehicle for um, this size set. I really was particularly interested in these sort of triangle segments here. I like the shaping that it uh, produces and um, I, I was pretty happy with uh, how that that all came together I wasn't quite sure how they were going to do it I had some ideas but uh, it was uh, it was a nice building experience this does have some weight to it there's a lot of um, technic structure in here kind of holding all these panels together and so this is a, a hefty hefty ship if we look down at the bottom we can start to see some of the Technic interior here that holds that all together uh, and the angles that were um, used to achieve kind of the desired shape here so these uh, Technic pieces are, are kind of off at a little angle there which uh, is an angle that I, I might not see super often in Lego sets but uh, it really makes this uh, come together and then you can kind of see uh, in here in the front how these triangle panels were connected there and we can look more at that uh, in a little bit as far as um, you know features of this these wings can uh, rotate uh, around uh, this is a, a blaster or a cannon that rotates and it also has two stud shooters on either side so we can load those with the uh, the studs and fire them off which I'm not going to do this element here I'm assuming is supposed to be another blaster or cannon or something on the front of the ship and it's just a a technic pin and I, you know at first I was like okay that's interesting uh, and when I look at it from a certain angle, it doesn't look too bad, but I think this could have been improved upon a little bit. I haven't seen the show, so I, I don't know if this is very true to the source material for what the, uh, the element on the front of this ship might be. Um, we can see on the outside there are a number of stickers in this set. Uh, these uh, stripes are stickers. There's also some of those same ones on the underside of both wings here. Uh, sticker down here. A sticker here on the side panel. And again on the other side is virtually the same. Oops. And then there are also some stickers on the inside so if we this opens up the cockpit type area there is some uh, seating that can be done some controls that were all stickered elements in there and there's uh, some places for play now this gives you some access but there is another element for this to get even more access to the internals of this and that is by folding down these panels on the side so now we have it fully opened up and it does give us some access to 
put uh, cargo or other minifigures in here, and it gives us a little peek at the Technic structure that is largely all in the back here, and goes all the way, uh, goes all the way down and kind of fills in this back part. So that's where a lot of the weight on this is. There's not a ton of room in there for play. It's a little bit limited, just limited, just by how this is all constructed. Constructed, but the fact that these panels do, in fact, come down, uh, really do add. Uh, really does add some um, some play value for that and even potentially some display value although inside here you do see some of the internals that I might not want to display it with any of these um, panels open except for maybe this top one the uh, front here is is not it is on a, a hinge piece I believe but the way that it's fit in there it doesn't uh, move these uh, are stationary once they're in there but you can see how they're uh, connected a little bit and they fit in really nicely they just connect right to that uh, pin in there and there we go and I think that's really really nice on the back we do get another hinged panel here if I can get this open uh, not too much back there you can see more of the internal structure here that is where a lot of the weight does uh, does exist in there but that does offer kind of a, a, a nice feeling model for play this feels like I say, very sturdy, even though some of these elements are connected kind of delicately. Holding it from the back end here where all this weight is, I think uh, feels really, really nice. And then uh, we can look at the extra pieces that come in this set. Uh, a lot of these translucent uh, stud pieces are what can be used in the stud shooters so you get a number of those and then just your standard kind of pieces for uh, extra pieces none of these are too uh, interested interesting for me uh, and there is one printed element of a pop can or a soda can topper which has also been used on the vintage motorcycle as a gas can topper and I'm actually not sure where that is used in this set let me look around here and see if I can't find that somewhere on here there is a printed tile or maybe I forgot to put it on okay well I do not see that anywhere uh, right now so I apologize for not knowing where that uh, that one piece is but that's sort of the overview of the minifigures this speeder bike and this tack pod or or whatever this main ship is for the ambush on ferric set now back to the price it retails for seventy dollars and it has six hundred and 79 pieces which if you are someone who's interested in the price per piece ratio ratio rather this is you know about in line with how i would expect lego star wars in 2023 sets to be um, priced uh, i thought for myself Seventy dollars was a little steep, or maybe very steep, but because it's a licensed set with almost seven hundred pieces, it it does seem to make sense. Uh, it wasn't something that was really jumping out at me. Someone who doesn't watch the show, but or hasn't yet, but is a big Lego Star Wars fan from back in the day, uh, I, I was interested, but kind of passively interested. But then I, I this was on sale. At I, I suppose I can say it. I'm not sponsored by any company, not Lego or not any other company, but I got this on sale at a Target. 
And for about a week, uh, I don't know how long ago this was, but for a period of dates, between two dates, you could get this set for $55.99 or $56 instead of $70. Now, for me, that seems more in line with what I would like this to be priced at, like a $60 price for this set feels a little better i know there's three minifigures there's kind of two builds and and this is hefty and and almost 700 pieces 60 feels about right for me 55 would feel even better um so this was 56 and i, and I was happy to get it at that price had this set been not on sale or uh, had the, I had to have paid retail price for this or bought it from lego.com, I don't know if this would be an instant buy for me. I, I think I would still like to have it. I like, I like Lego. I like Star Wars Lego. I don't know if I would have spent $70 on this. Um, I, I may have. Uh, I wouldn't have been thrilled about it, but holding the model, like I say, there is uh, there is a good amount of stuff here uh, with the minifigures, with this speeder bike, with this. There is some a lot of play value uh, and, and the stud shooters and, and everything, and, and it is weighty. I don't have a scale near me to, to um, check, but there is a, a good amount of stuff here, so it would have been a, an iffy thing i just know i didn't buy it right when it came out i didn't buy it um for the retail price and i was lucky enough to to get this on sale and at that price point the sale price point that i paid for this uh i think is a really good spot and and a really um it, it made sense for me to get this set so that's all for this set. Those are my thoughts for this uh, set, this Ambush on Ferrix set. If you like this video or any videos on my channel, please consider giving it a like or a subscribe. And I'll be coming back with some more Lego related content in the near future. Until next time. Thanks. Bye.